When you receive your box, start by removing the banding and tape using a pair of scissors or sharp knife. Empty your contents and check all of your parts against the manual to make sure you are not missing any items. Also, make sure to check all of your polystyrene before throwing anything away. When you begin assembling, start by removing the protective plastic block from the rear stabiliser and keep the bolts to one side. Then attach the stabiliser. The bolts removed earlier will need to be screwed in from the underneath. Make sure the transport wheels are facing towards the back of the machine. Next, remove the four screws from the frame just above the stabiliser. And attach the protective covers over the top. Once that's done, then move on to the slide weight and front stabiliser. You will need to feed the nut plate into the end of the slide weight and align the holes through the frame to the stabiliser. Then secure in place using the four Allen head bolts. Next, remove the screws from either side of the stabiliser and from within the plastic covers. Slot the covers over the end of the slideway and secure back in place. Secure the rubber cushion to the underside of the slideway. Now connect the sensor wire from the other end of the slideway to the base. If your wire is not visible, it may be tucked within the frame. Make sure to align your pins within the wires and check you hear a click. If this is not connected correctly, no readings will show on your monitor. Then add the pop pin on top so that the slideway cannot be folded. Lock the slideway and main base together using one large hex bolt. Make sure to align the slideway straight as it is a snug fit into the frame. Next, attach the foot plates to either side of the base. Each one will be labelled with a small R or L. Use the two large hex bolts for each foot plate.
Also don't forget to add the small plastic caps over the ends of the hex bolt. Lastly, remove the four screws from the back of the monitor. Feed the wires through the iPad holder and connect to the wires from the monitor stand. Again, make sure to align your pins for each one. Then finally, feed the wires into either the monitor or the stand. Be careful not to trap them and align your holes and reattach the screws removed from earlier.